Take one man against an angry crowd. Add a foul ball and a fog. That's the story. Play ball. Taken this week from the files of John Steele. Adventure. <laughs> friends, this is John Steele. Ready for another story of adventure? I'll bet you are. Well, this week's tale is a bit different. It's the kind of yarn a real red-blooded American will love. What's it about? <laughs> I shouldn't tell you, but I give, will give you a starter. Bring along your appetite for soda pop and hot dogs. Yep. Our story is about the great American pastime, baseball. And it's about a very good friend of mine. You remember that game a few years back, the one between the, uh... <laughs> what am I doing here? My guest this week can tell you this story a lot better than I can. It happened to him. So, folks, meet Mike Scanlon. Mike? It's funny how you can get an idea in your head and nothing will change your mind. That's how it was with me, anyway. I guess it all started that day out at the stadium. I had been umpiring in the senior circuit for 18 years, and it was just another game to me. But it was different for the Gulls and the Blue Sox. It was late in August, and the Gulls were still leading the league by a game and a half. The Sox had been right on their necks, and in this game, they were leading three to two in the bottom half of the ninth. I was working balls and strikes back of the plate, and first man up, grounded out, and the second fly deep to left field. Holmes, the utility infielder from Danville, got a pinch hit single and took second when the Sox third baseman threw the ball away. The crowd was hollering for blood as Galatelli walked up to the plate. Okay, Pappy, this is the ball game. Just burn it in here, baby. Just push it past the green-haired boy, Pappy. Just the muscle. Go ahead, baby. Well, why don't you go take your shower now, Pappy. Right, the game's right. as good as over. Says the game's over, Pappy. Just burn it in here, baby. We'll show them how the game's over. Like the first pitch clean in the left field stand, boy. First ball hitting, Pappy. First ball hitting. Just the bush ring into the first pitch, baby. Walk over this ball game, my boy. Okay, buddy. Galatelli. Quit your jaw and step in there. Crowd's late for supper now. Hey, take it easy, Scanlon. Gotta give the customers their money's worth, don't I? Big man treating the crowd, Pappy. Gonna send them home. I'm happy, baby. Step in, Nifty. Let's yeah. put this thing to bed. Okay, okay, Mike. Gotta give the crowd a little excitement. Okay, Mike. baby, let's see that high hard one in here. And here it comes, Butcher. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh! oh that's, it, baby. that's okay, baby. Got him to win. Where's that home run, big man? Where's that home run? Oh, huh? I just want to put one where I can reach it. Green boy. kid says he can't reach him, Pappy. Okay, baby. Right down the old middle. Just blow it right past the big man, Pappy. And here it is. Here it is. Got him singing, baby. Got the green kids singing. Give him the old floater, Pappy. The old floater. And swing. Swing, kids. Swing. Uh, uh, that's okay, baby. Could have counted the stitches on that one. Got him to waste, Pappy. Got him to waste. But nobody's just swinging here. Let's we'll see the ball, Pepper. Hey, that's the ground. Hide your scuff. Okay, let's get going. I tell you, it's scuffed. It's hopping, coming up to the plate. Could be he's pitching. Keep your eye on him, Mike. He'd dust me if I wasn't so fast. Step in, Nifty. Got him singing like a seagull, baby. Give him the big rainbow, Pappy. Bend the big one. Here it is. Here it is now. Yeah! <laughs> Rookie be back in full on next week, Pappy. Hello, Texas Bush. Yeah, I got a swing in a bad one through a walk me. What to hit itself on, baby? What to hit itself on? Hello, you dusty train. The next one out of a what, wise guy? Step in, Nifty. What's the count, Mike? Two and two. Okay, baby. We're way up in front of him in the catbird seat, Pappy. Got to swing at this one. Let's have that big bender again. Got to swing. Got to swing! Something. Call him as I see him, foul ball. Man caught it up in section 23. Gotta be fair. Go on back to the bench, Billy. You crazy scammer. Never hit one fair in my life. Go on back to the bench, all of you. Foul ball. What are you getting old? Hit the ball right on the lane. Went straight as a dive. I... Foul ball, I said. What's a guy gonna do? Hit straight away to center field to be fair. Careful, Nifty. Slide as a bat right on the lane. Foul ball. That's Carly. He could see. Back to the bench or I'll throw you all out of the game. Okay, Scanlon. But I'm not forgetting. Shut up, Nippy. Not forgetting it. Shut up, Galatelli. I don't want to throw you out. Can even if it's a lift. You're going to step in or not? Okay, okay. Play roll. Okay, Pepper, we got him now, baby. Green kids are rattling. He'll throw the bat away. Underhanded, baby. You can't see for the red. Just toss it up here. Toss it up. That's... Swing, kids, swing. Strike three. That's the game. That's my baby. Oh, Pepper, oh, Pepper. Yeah. Sorry, kid. 
Jets are on the game. That's what you say. I only call them as I see them, boy. Well, you better start seeing them better. So. In this business, kid, you got to take those kind of knocks. I don't got to take nothing from you. Tomorrow, maybe you'll get a chance to be a hero. Tomorrow, maybe I'll get you. Okay, Nifty. Take your shower. Yeah. Yeah, and even if it's the last thing I ever do... Who's that? I don't know, some crazy thing. Hey, that was fair all the way. Get out of the way. Oh, no, you know, I was up in 23. That, that, that ball was fair. Eat it. Wait a minute, mister. You say you were up in 23? I'll, I'll say it was. I caught that ball. It was fair by three feet. I, I got about 50 people waiting their seats up there, and we're going to sign a statement. It's just a man's word. Maybe one of those photographers got a picture. Yeah, maybe. Are you sure, mister? What do you mean, I'm sure? It's positive. I'll have to protest the game, Mike. Never had a game protested on my decision in 18 years. Yeah, I know. Sorry, Mike. Sure. Sure. Than anyone else? Well, if I was, I wouldn't tell you. You know, sometimes I think you're spying on me the way you sneak around here. When a man's married to the prettiest gal in the state, he's got to expect to do some spying. Oh, you're just saying that because it credits you. <laughs> you're going to be an awful shock to your pride someday when you take off those rose colored glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Now, I got too many things to do to stand here lobby gobbling with you all day. Okay. The paper's on your chair and it'll be ready in about 15 minutes. Okay. <sighs> Have a hard day? Didn't you listen? I always do. You know that. Stop needed that game today. Yeah. You no, know, I think George McCray's the best sports announcer in the business. Yeah. Must have been a very exciting one in the seventh when Galatelli tied that score. Yeah. Are you listening to me, Mike Camden? Sure, dear. But you certainly don't sound it to me. No, I'm listening, honey. What kind of a boy is Nifty Galatelli? Fresh kid. At all? Well, no. For his second year in the majors, he's doing all right. Yeah. He's a spot club of the girls. Got the temper to go with it, too. <laughs> He'll learn. Maybe. Girls wouldn't be in first place at once. Do we have to talk about this all night? No, no, of course not. What did McCray say about the ninth inning? Yeah, he said it looked fair to him. Oh, he did, did he? Hmm? When's he going to learn a sports announcer is supposed to report the facts, not give opinions? Well, he's entitled to one. He's not entitled to prejudice a million radio listeners. Tell her we're having corned beef and cabbage tonight. Good. Your favorite dish, and all you can say is good. I'm sorry. Made it special for you. I said I was sorry. I understand. Do you? Of course I do. Why, that dirty no... What's the matter now? Well, Well, listen to this. In the Daily News... Umpire Scanlon was guilty of the most flagrant misjudgment when he called Galatelli's blast in the ninth inning foul. Our staff photographer's picture clearly substantiates the opinion shared by some 30,000 fans that this blow was fair by at least three feet. There comes a time in the life of an umpire when he has outserved his usefulness to the game and is no longer capable... Who does he think he is? Oh, Jimmy Powers. I'm going down there first thing in the morning now, and Mike. tell him off. Anyone oh. can call him when they got all the evidence in front He's of them. He's just doing his job. His job to hold people up to public ridicule? No. His job is to stir up interest in the local team. I'll beat down his door There's until something I... more important than making a big scene. What? What's it mean to you? What do you mean? Well, will they protest? Yeah, Billy will have to protest to keep the fans happy. Oh, kind of token? Yeah, well, what'll the president of the league do? Support me, I guess. You sure? That's not the point. Sure he'll support me. Can't change an umpire's decision once it's been made, even with photographic evidence. Billy knows that. Well? It's the principle of the thing. Of course. Been in the game for 18 years. I know. Oh, uh, what's the use? How have you stood it, man? Stood what? This life, living in a hotel room six months out of the year, knocking around from town to town. Yeah, you love the game, don't you? Well, of course I do. It wouldn't be enough if I didn't. Well, that's enough for me. Suppose now I'm, I am all washed up. You stop that kind of talk, Mike I've seen it happen. What? A guy loses his nerve or something. Stop it this minute. Did you ever have 30,000 people pulling at you? You know what it feels like? 
Well, do you? Sir, how do you know? Hello, Mike. What can I do for you? I read your column last night, Powers. Well? I didn't like it. No? No. Well, I'm sorry if you took offense. Yeah, I'll bet. I mean it. There was nothing personal about that column. Nothing personal? Who do you think you are, wise guy? Now, take it easy. Make Mike. me look like a jerk to Wait the public. A minute. Spend 18 years in the right? game, and some joker with a typewriter starts... Mike. I don't care... Mike, you... Mike. Is that better? Just cool off for a minute. Okay. Mike, why have you been mixed up in baseball for so many years? What are you trying to Cause do? Because you love the game, right? Go on. What do you think I've been banging away on this typewriter for 20 years? So you can... For the same reason. Only I'm not as lucky as you are. Huh? You're right down on the field in the middle of it. I've never been that good. i got to sit up in the press box. Yeah. But I think maybe I can do as much good for the game up there as you can right down on the field. What do you mean? Only one thing interests me, Mike. Keep the game clean. Yeah. I would have done just as much squawking if the decision had gone against the Sox. Oh. Now, there isn't much more a sports writer can do except report the facts and beef like crazy when he sees an injustice done. Yeah, I... I guess you're right. I don't like to say this, Mike, but maybe you need a rest. Huh? I don't know. A guy reaches a point, I guess, when his reflexes aren't as quick or his eyes aren't as sharp. I don't know. I see what you mean. I'm sorry. I... Well, thanks, Mr. Powers. <laughs> your head. You know you're not supposed to come on the field through the dugout. I know. Where you been? We've been looking all over for you. I late getting here. Hurry up, Chuck and Scotty been waiting at the plate for five minutes. Yeah. Hey, hey what's the matter? You look, you look sick. Nothing. You sure? Yeah. Well, get going. Yeah. Come on, Martin. I'll walk out with you. Okay, Colonel. Stupid fans like a pack of sheep. Where's your batting order? You don't have to get happy. Have a bad night? Let's have the order. Okay, okay. Here it is. Same as yesterday. Martin? Yeah, Jethro's been dropped on the seventh. Only change. You both know the ground rules. Just remember any ball out in the ivy is a ground rule double. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, okay. Tell Lefty to watch that football, Pepper. What do you mean? Tell football? him if he wants to wipe the sweat off his arm, do it on his uniform, not on his pitching hand. It's going to be rough today, huh? And Martin, you tell those bench jockeys to keep those towels in the dugout or they'll be using them in the shower. Who lost, Gavin? Okay, let's go. Can't stand around all day. Hasn't he been warming up for 20 minutes? Hey, you got the jitters or something? Come on, burn in here, redhead. When you got your stuff today? How many warm-up pitches does he need? Get off my back, will you? Okay, kid. Now, Ben, with those big ones in here, baby. Let's get going, Martin. Okay, okay. He's ready. Well, we're waiting on you, Scanlon. Yeah, I... The strap. Yeah, the strap on my mask is loose. I, I got to tighten it. Well, come on, Scanlon. You gonna say play ball, or ain't you? Yeah, I, I gotta gotta fix my fix my chest protector. Are you sick or something? No, I I'm okay. I'm okay. Well, you gonna say it, or ain't you? Yeah, I'm gonna say it. Yeah, gonna say it. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. Gonna say it. <laughs> I got through the first inning and then told him I wasn't feeling so good. Scotty came in and took over balls and strikes, and I went down to first base. I was lucky and didn't have any close ones to call all afternoon. 
News, uh, something like that, gets around the lake pretty fast, and I had a rough time of it for the next few weeks. No matter what park I worked, the fans rode me, and I had the feeling the players were all laughing at me. I kept telling Scotty and Jock I wasn't feeling good, so I didn't have to work behind the plate. But I knew I couldn't keep it up. We were on our last swing through the West, and when we got to Chicago, where the league offices are, John Steele sent for me. Haven't seen you for a long time, Mike. No. Well, don't stand there. Sit down. Have a cigar. Thanks. Nice humidor. Managers gave it to me for Christmas last year. Being errand boy for the president of the league has its advantages. Light? Yeah. Thanks. Pretty good season so far. Yeah. Only club behind last year's attendance figures is the Leafs. Is that so? Yeah, and they're only under by 5,000. Oh. What's all this I've been hearing? Huh? About you. I don't know what you've been hearing. How long have we known each other, Mike? Ten years, I guess. Been pretty good friends, haven't we? Yeah. If you've got anything on your mind, you can tell me. Yeah, I know that, John. Well, go ahead, spill it. Don't know if there's anything to spill. I heard you hadn't been feeling so well. Nothing serious. Serious enough to make the boss ask me to have a talk with you. No. Need a rest? No. We can always bring up one of the... No need a rest, I said. Okay. Get over this by myself. Just thought I'd ask. We've been around this business for a long time. Yeah. Seen a lot of men come and go. What are you trying to say? I'm just trying to let you know that you've got a friend you can talk to. Why don't you stop prying if you're such a good friend? I want to help you, Mike. Don't need any help of that kind. I think you do. I'm sorry, John. I guess I'm sort of jumpy. I know. I don't know what's the matter with me. Does it go back to that foul bowl? Yeah, I guess so. The president supported you when Billy protested. I know. Well, didn't that help? That's not the point. No, I guess it isn't. Something I gotta straighten out alone. Okay, Mike. Do it your way. Thanks, John. I'm gonna be in New York over the 26th. Oh? The girls and the Sox will be playing three games while I'm in town. Uh huh. You'll be working that series, won't you? Yeah. I want to see you back at the plate in one of those games. You'll see me. Maybe we can have another talk then. Yeah. Maybe. Did you like the picture, Mike? Uh huh. Oh, I thought Jimmy Stewart was wonderful. Yeah. It's good baseball scenes too. Mike, you're listening. Yeah, honey. A uh, good baseball scene. Oh, that part where Jimmy Stewart was running with his bad legs and everything. I could just feel the pain. Couldn't you? Mike. Oh, now, you just stop thinking about tomorrow, Mike Scanlon. Thought the movie'd take your mind off things. It did, honey. It's just another ball game. Yeah, I know. You've done it a hundred times before, and you'll do it tomorrow. Wish Steele wasn't going to be there. Well, what difference does that make? I don't know. He's a friend of yours. It's like everyone was sitting in on a wake. Oh, that's all in your mind. If the series wasn't all tied up, it wouldn't be such an important game. <sighs> You've umpired a lot bigger ones. Remember the third game of the 41 World Series? If I'd when... gone back on the plate in the first one of those two games, it'd have been all over now. You stop thinking like that, Mike. Guess I better. <sighs> well, you want to stop in for a malt? Feel more like a drink. A malt will be better for you. It'll make you sleep. This bar is air conditioned. Just stop in for one. Uh, I still think you ought to have a malt. Right over here, honey. Well, it be books. Whiskey and soda, don't mix it. Ginger ale, please. Whiskey and ginger, right? Better in here, huh? Well, it's cooler, if that's what you mean. Now, honey. I'm sorry, Mike. I never have liked places like this. Well, we won't stay long. I just felt like a drink, that's all. <laughs> oh, who's making all that noise? I don't know. Some guy with a little too much to drink, I guess. Great. The old fugitive from the eye, Doctor. <laughs> just talking about you. Just tell my buddy You've that. been drinking, young man. Oh, the little lady says I've been drinking. Well, well, didn't see you had company, Scanlon. You going to introduce me? You know this person, Mike. This is Nifty Galatelli, honey. My wife. Oh, so this is a little woman scanning. Well, well. Hey, what's the matter, Mrs. S? You run out of carrots over at your house? <laughs> you better go on home, Nifty. <laughs> oh, plenty of time, plenty of time. Sleep all day tomorrow. It's a night game tomorrow, night game. Billy'd bench you for a week if he knew this. What do you mean, bench me? 
You're the one who ought to be bets. To see better than you can right now. Go on home, Galatelli. What's the matter, Scanlon? Can tell Billy, huh? And tell Billy his star ought to be bent. Billy can run his team by himself. Let's get out of here, Mike. Oh, don't run off. Mrs. don't run off. I want to talk to the old man. I want to find out how he's going to call him tomorrow. Shut up, Galatelli. Yeah. I want to find out if he's dumb as he is blind. How dumb are you, Scanner? I'm warning you, Nippy. Because if you're smart, you're going to call him the right way tomorrow night, see? Gonna call him the way old Nifty sees him. Okay, Nifty, you go. Let go your head. You want to play rough? Get off my arm. You call him right. Let go his arm. Call him Nifty's way, see? Cut that stuff out, you two. Let go his arm. Let go his arm. Okay, Scanner. Let you go. Don't forget what I told you. Galatelli, I could have you thrown out of baseball. Come on, Mike, we're going home. See you tomorrow night, Scanner. Come on, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Here's for the drinks. Oh, you ought to know better. Now, don't start that. Stop now fighting Cut it out, me. Full grown man. What do you think you are? High school boy. Shut up. Oh. You hurt your arm. It's okay. Well, I'll rub it with liniment when we get home. It's okay, I tell you. <sighs> that does it. What? That does it. What do you mean? I've taken all I can. And what are you going to do about it? Hand in my resignation to steal them. You wouldn't. I'm fed up, I tell you. Oh, you wouldn't do that, Mike. I can't take any more. All right, Mike. If that's the way you want it. Never thought you'd quit. By the time I got to the stadium the next night, the newspapers had the story. Newsboys were all around the field shouting the headlines, Scanlon to quit. I ran from the cab into the entrance marked players and officials. The game was late getting started because a mist was blowing in off the bay and visibility in the outfield was tough with the light shining through the haze. We couldn't wait too long because the Sox had to catch a train for Boston and the time limit had been put on the game. We got underway about a half hour late with me back at the plate. The stocks were leading four to three with the seventh inning coming up and I was beginning to breathe a little easier because there hadn't been any close ones to call. But by the time we got to the last half of the ninth, we were past the time limit, and everyone knew this was the last inning. There were runners on second and third with one out, and a hit would win the ball game for the Gulls. The place was in an uproar as Galatelli stepped up to the batter. Okay, baby, just hang it in there, baby. Come on, we got out. You're pitching off, Scanlon. Step in, Nifty. Hey, here comes that fog again, Mike. Yeah, I know. Come on, let's put this thing to bed while we can still see. Okay, though, but that's a tough outfield to play right now. Let's go. You want, Pepper? Call a game? We can beat your club in a dozen. Let's get John. Can... Okay, Pappy, okay. Put your head in the head of hit all night. Let's see that hot rod, baby. Let's blow it past him, Pappy. Now, put you now. Oh! Ah! I know, I know. Keep moving, Pepper. Keep singing, will you? This game's going on anyway. Shut up, Nifty. You stand here talking that fog will really close in. Okay, baby, let's keep this kid out of the air. Right down here this week, baby. Let's see that fast stopper in here, Nifty. Swing! <laughs> That's the baby! Ha <laughs> ha! What a rebel! Loosen to my arms, that's all. Got to swing at them bad ones. Give the crowd a thrill. Treat the crowd again, baby. Got to treat them big to the second out now. If you want to finish the game, you better stop gasping and play ball. Don't worry, Mike. We know we're going to finish the game. Don't we? Step in, Nifty. Okay, baby, the green kid wants to finish the game. Keep him on the ground, Pappy. Tell him that big double play ball. We all go home to bed. And it's now, kid. Now! Oh, two. Almost had him, baby. Kid, almost, but... Yeah, it was so high, even Scanlon could see it. Well, it's getting worse, Mike. Keep moving. And hardly see Slater and Santa Fe. Shut up, will you, Pepper? We're going to finish this one. You guys feel it with a clean sky? Shut up, both of you, and play ball. What's the count, Mike? Two and one. Okay, Pappy, one pitch, hurt right, we'll wrap her up here. Just bend her past the bush, baby, wind her right around his belt, and it's now. Get now! Oh, my! Strike you! Can't get it, Pepper. Thanks, Mike. You got a piece of it. Watch, close Shut enough. up! Trying to give you your earning, Galatelli. You're holding us up. If he hits it up in the air, Alfred won't even see it. Sing him the blues, Pepper. You gotta call time, Mike. Maybe it'll blow away. We're over time already. What am I supposed to do? Boot the game to catch a train? Okay, okay. Turn off! Now, what are you trying to do? Give him the game? You know that's a tough sky. What's the matter, Mike? Why are you calling time? This is too thick, Billy. Easy fly ball can win this one. Yeah, I know. Knock him down, Billy. He's trying Shut to... Shut up, Nifty. You know he's trying to... Shut up, I said. See any break? 
No. You can't even see the wall now. Better get going. Try to get it in for you, Billy. I know. And quit your join, Nifty. Uh, step in. What's the count? Two and two. Okay, Fabby, the green kid will be looking. Just float that big rainbow right over, baby. Just let him see the floater. And swing. Watch your swing. Hold three. Hey, you got to call time, Mike. That sky's not going to break. He's just singing, Scanlon. Sky ain't that bad. What'll it be? Wait. Game's called. Oh, you crazy Scanlon. Any pusher could play that sky. Sorry, Nifty. That fog's too thick. Score reverts to the eighth inning. You're giving him the pennant. We played the same fog. Wasn't this bad in your half. I tried to get it in. Yeah? That's what you'd say. You got this coming to you. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. hit. You can't hit an umpire. What you mean? Game is called. You had it in for me all season. You crazy kid. You Scanlon will be taking a part. Game is over. Take a part of Scanlon. I walked off the field with the booze ringing in my ears. Didn't look to either side, just straight ahead and kept walking. I could still hear him booing even when I got under the stands. Never knew the walk to the locker room took so long. When I got there, I slammed the door, and it was quiet at last. Just sat there thinking. Mark! Mark, open up! Go away, Billy. Let me, I've got to talk to you. Leave me alone, will you? Just let me talk to you a minute. Yeah. You gotta see this, Mike. Don't you know how I... Yeah, I know. But you gotta see this. Come on. Leave go of my arm. You're coming with me. I've had enough for one night. Yet move in. What are you, crazy? I don't want to go up on the... Just come up to the dugout. You don't have to go out on the field. Sorry about the game. Only decision you could make. I know that. So is everyone else in the stands. Huh? That's what I mean. Fans refused to leave the stands. Yeah, but the Bruins... They weren't booing you. Well, how do you... That was for Galatelli. After you left, they kept booing till he was off the field. Now they're just sitting up there yelling. Are well, you sure that... Sure, I'm sure. He'd never seen anything like it in my life. I want you to read my column tomorrow, Mike. It's going to be about a guy who has the guts to make a decision he knows will be unpopular. The kind of guy this game needs. Thanks, Mr. Powers. No, you're going to quit? No. Go on out there. They want to see you. Yeah. about a man of decision, told you tonight by my good friend, Mike Scanlon, who knows now that the fans in the stands are part of what makes baseball a great American pastime. Yeah, Mike learned that people can make a person great. Well, if you like this story, why not visit with me next week, because I have a man I'm sure you'd like to meet. He had an unusual adventure with a Czech, a blackmailer, and a beautiful girl. I like to call it Checkmates. So until next week, this is John Steele saying... A life of adventure is yours for the taking, wherever you find it. Only don't look for it. Well, good night and good hunting. John Steele Adventurer is produced by Robert Monroe, written and directed by Elliot Drake. In tonight's cast were Charlie Holmes, Grace Kenny, Ross Martin, Joe Hugginson, and Al Patterson. Don Douglas is heard as John Steele, and Jimmy Powers was played by Jimmy Powers. The orchestra was conducted by Sylvan Levin. Remember, next week, Beautiful presents Checkmates, another story of suspense and action from the files of John Steele Adventurer. Ted Nelly speaking. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. Thank you.